Good morning and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here this morning with Bruno and Fred and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Bruno's ability to understand and respond to his formal on-leash obedience commands. The correction and the motivation that we give the dogs when we're working with them and the training equipment that we're using. Fred is using a regular six foot web training leash and we keep the bulk of that leash folded neatly in our right hand. That leaves the left hand free to give any correction that's needed and the only correction that we give is a little tug and release on the training collar and that is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Bruno is going to come home with his very own training equipment and you're going to be taught how to use that properly tomorrow during your follow-up training session. Now Bruno is sitting very nicely at Fred's left which is where all of our obedience training is done and the first exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is healing. Healing is proper leash walking and the command is Bruno heal. Now at this point Bruno has a job to do and that is to remain even with your left leg when you're walking. And each time that you stop walking, whether it's to cross traffic or talk to a neighbor, he has been taught to sit automatically without being told to wait for his next command. So you see he has that nice eye contact with Fred, that he's looking up and that he's focused and paying attention. And each time that Fred stops his feet, Bruno stops and sits. Now the next command that we're going to demonstrate is the sit stay. The stay is a hand and a voice command and because it is a stationary exercise, we do not use his name. This exercise helps to develop self-control and maturity. And you saw he got up and Fred quickly said no and corrected him and he sat right back down. Now when Fred returns back to him, he walks all the way around him, returning all the way back to where he started, back at heel position. He gives him a little pat for praise and they take off healing again. Now the majority of these exercises can be practiced indoors as well as outdoors. It looks like we may have a snowy winter and you need indoor house manners. So indoors is where you're gonna practice these commands, especially the sit stay and the down stay. Those are self-control exercises. He is a sweet boy. There's just so much of him and he doesn't know his own strength. On your sit stay, you're going to start out at about 30 seconds and you're going to slowly in a couple months work up to a five minute long sit stay. This helps to develop his self-control, of which he had none when he got here. This time, instead of returning back to him, Fred will demonstrate the come on command. The command is Bruno come. He should come right in front and sit. He should not be jumping on anyone. And then he returns back to heel. So all of these exercises, I don't know if you can tell, but are designed to develop his self-control, develop his ability to pay attention, develop his um, sense of personal space and boundaries. Nice automatic sit. Fred leaves him again in a sit stay. We have plenty of distractions going on because the birds are migrating and it is noisy back here. Fred lets him hold that sit stay for a little bit and then he uses his name and he calls him in. He comes right in and he should come in and sit. And then he goes back to heel. Fred's talking to him during the healing exercise to keep him focused. If he's not focused, keep your eye on Fred's left arm and he will give a little tug and release to remind Bruno that whatever it is he's doing is not what he was asked to do. Now the next command that we're going to demonstrate for you is the down from a heel position. So with him seated at your left, you're going to take your left open palm and push it straight down toward the ground and give the one word command to down and stay. We offered Bruno a blanket, but that was too much of a distraction for him. He doesn't seem to mind the cold at all. Now, your long down stay, you most definitely practice indoors right in your living room. Your long down stay is three to five minutes. When Fred returns back to him, he walks all the way around him just as he did on the sit stay and Bruno's been taught to remain lying there until Fred gets back to his shoulders where he stops and gives the dog a second command.
English Bulldogs are not known to be very military in their execution of their commands, but I think he's doing a really good job. He's trying very hard. Fred's going to do another down from a heel position for you. So with him seated at your left, left foot open palm, straight down toward the ground, down and stay. Fred walks out to the end of his leash and he turns to face the dog. And you're going to soon be able to drop your leash and walk away in the house and come back and he should still be there. This time Fred's going to call him out of that down. He comes in and sits. Good job. <laughs> All Bruno needs is a cigar. He's a real man's man. Now the next command that we're going to demonstrate for you is you're down from a distance. So with the dog seated at your left, you leave him in a sit stay. You're going to turn to face him. This is the only time that you're going to use your right hand to give the command. Down. No. He d wasn't paying attention, so he started to C-O-M-E. And as soon as Fred said no, he knew what he did wrong, and he immediately laid down. So that was a pretty good recovery. And that is your down from a distance. Now, we have demonstrated for you all of Bruno's on-leash obedience commands. I know you're going to have a ton of questions tomorrow. We're going to be here to answer them for you. You're going to get hands-on practice working with Bruno, with Fred here acting as your coach. We've enjoyed having him, really. He's a sweet, sweet boy. And we want to thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company. We'll see you real soon.